Hello, I am Professor Ryan, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Vimal Jodhi Engineering College, Chamberi, Kannur. I welcome all of you to this course on refrigeration and air conditioning. In this lecture, we will see Lithium Bromide Water Absorption Refrigeration System. In Lithium Bromide Water Absorption Refrigeration System, Lithium Bromide is used as the adsorbent and water is used as the refrigerant. Now, the term adsorbent is used because Lithium Bromide is a salt, not a liquid. So, uh, instead of using the word absorbent, you are using the word adsorbent. Now, in any absorption refrigeration system, the absorbent refrigerant combination is to be in such a way that absorbent is having high affinity for the refrigerant or affection for the refrigerant. That means when um, this absorbent comes in contact with this refrigerant, this absorbent should absorb all the refrigerant. So, when, that means when lithium bromide, when water comes in contact with the lithium bromide, lithium bromide absorbs all the water. Then one more thing which we should understand is that since water is the refrigerant, uh, we need the pressure of the evaporator should be very low. That is a vacuum pressure is to be provided in the evaporator. The reason is that any refrigerant which we use in a refrigeration system should be in the vapor form at room temperature. But water is in a liquid form at room temperature. So, if you want to vaporize water at room temperature, the only um, method by which we can do it is, is to reduce the pressure. So, if we reduce the pressure of water to 0.8 to 20 kilopascal, that is, if you reduce evaporator pressure to 20 to uh, 0.8 to 20 kilopascal, we can vaporize the refrigerant. So, water, should, if we use water as the refrigerant, vacuum pressure is to be provided in the evaporator. Now, we will see different components. Of the system we have this is a lower pressure side and a higher pressure side so in the lower pressure side we have absorber and evaporator these two are at lower pressure side so uh, are operating at same pressure so it, these two are placed in a shell like this and these two are separated by an ele eliminated buffer like this eliminated buffer is used to just to, to prevent the mix uh, entry of the lithium bromate solution into the evaporator side so another uh, in another shell here uh, which, is, which is at higher pressure, a generator and condenser are placed. These two are also operating at the same pressure, but are operating at higher pressure than this uh, evaporator and uh, sorry, absorber and evaporator pressure. So, this generator and condenser are operating at higher pressure. So, these two are but at same pressure. So, these two are placed in another shell like this, and that these two are also separated by same uh, similar eliminated buffer, and that also uh, prevent the uh, mixing of uh, entry of the lithium bromate uh, salt into the condenser side then we have uh, a solution pump solution pump is mainly used for pumping the solution like this then we have a heat exchanger like this which is used for preheating the solution then we have a cooling tower which is used for uh, cooling uh, which is used for cooling purpose that is we have a uh, the cooling tower will uh, we will we'll get a chilled water from here and that cool chilled water is used for cooling the absorber here that is from the uh, Okay, then um, we have this first cooling water enters into the absorber, it takes the heat of absorption and then it enters into the condenser where it takes the heat of condensation and goes out. Now, advantage of such an arrangement is that, uh, first thing is that we, we, uh, since it's a series arrangement, uh, the water, way, water uh, circulation, that is the mass flow rate of water circulation will be very less while comparing with a parallel arrangement. We, we don't use a separate, uh, if you use a separate uh, cooling water arrangement for absorber and uh, condenser separately, then more water is required. That is one, uh, so whereas if a single, uh, that is a, a series arrangement is used, less water is required. That is one advantage. Another advantage is that uh, if cooling water, uh, that is the wa water from the cooling tower directly enters into the condenser, then what happens is if temperature is less than 30 degrees Celsius, there is a chance that uh, the lithium bromide may crystallize here. So, to prevent that, uh, first cooling water enters into the absorber where it is slightly heated, maybe may around 30 degrees Celsius, more than 30 degrees Celsius, then, then it enters into the condenser and from there it takes the heat of condensation and goes out. So, here we have a secondary refrigeration system that is uh, the refrigerant used may be uh, uh, water or any brine. Okay. So, that this is a space to be cooled from where the secondary refrigerant is coming like this by taking heat from there okay that heat is rejected in the evaporator when it while when it flows through the bundle of tubes here 
you have a bundle of tubes here and when it goes to that bundle of tubes the second refrigerant rejects that heat to the evaporator and uh, so it is cooled and it is returning back like this so we have one more refrigerant pump which is used for pumping the refrigerant so mainly uh, absorber is the place where absorbent is present and function of absorber absorber is to absorb the refrigerant uh, the absorbent absorbs the refrigerant which is coming from the evaporator then we have pump pump is used for mainly pumping the refrigerant that is uh, to increase the pressure of the uh, weak solution to the uh, to uh, to match with the condenser pressure then we have a generator generator is mainly used for uh, separating the refrigerant from the weak solution by uh, maybe uh, by using some external source of heating like solar heat or steam then we have a condenser the condenser is mainly used for uh, when when the vapor, when the vapor refrigerant flows to the condenser coil it rejects the heat of condensation to the cooling media and uh, liquid solution liquid refrigerant is formed that is liquid water is formed then in the evaporator what happens is when uh, water is uh, that is refrigerant is sprayed from the top of the uh, evaporator over uh, it, it flows over a bundle of tubes where this water is vaporized because of the lower pressure so due to that uh, the um, heat is uh, taken from the secondary refrigerant and secondary refrigerant cools now we will see working of the system once more here we have a cooling tower from where the chilled air is uh, chilled water is coming like this uh, the chilled water first enters into the absorber where it uh, takes the heat of absorption and then it enters into the condenser where it takes the heat of condensation and returns back to the cooling tower for next cycle then in the absorber we have absorbent that is a lithium bromide when water vapor from the evaporator enters into the absorber um, this water vapor is cooled by this um, cooling uh, water circulation so uh, this uh, water vapor is absorbed by the absorbent and a weak solution is formed here here you will get after the absorption a weak solution is formed in the absorbent in the absorber so that weak solution is pumped by the solution pump the uh, main function of this solution pump is to pump the refrigerant so that it will uh, this pressure of this liquid will uh, match the uh, pressure is to be increased to generator pressure okay so um, by using this pump the weak solution is pumped and during that it is passing through the heat exchanger where it is preheated and then it enters into the uh, this weak solution enters into the generator in the generator by using some external source of uh, heating like steam or solar solar power or hot water etc this um, weak solution is heated so due to that heating from the weak solution uh, water vapor is separated now uh, this water vapor enters into the condenser side so due to that separation of water vapor from the weak solution a strong solution is collected here this strong solution returns back to the absorber first it enters into the heat exchanger where it is preheated then it flows through an expansion device here and then it is sprayed from the top of the absorber where uh, it abs uh, when it is sprayed from the top of the absorber it absorbs the uh, water vapor coming from the evaporator so, uh, so, so that is the uh, refrigerant uh, that is the uh, strong solution and weak solution uh, uh, circulation now we will see what happens to refrigerant that is uh, vapor refrigerant which is separated from that is water okay vapor refrigerant which is separated from the uh, from the uh, weak solution uh, enters into the condenser side here and this eliminator baffle will prevent the entry entry of the um, lithium bromide solution into the condenser okay so that means only water vapor will be entering into the condenser side so in the condenser side what happens is water vapor is cooled by using this cooling water so it is condensed here uh, so uh, that means the latent heat of the uh, water vapor is take uh, is rejected into the um, into the cooling water circulation and cooling water circulation is heated and water will be condensed so this liquid water uh, is expanded in an expansion device and then it is sprayed from the top of the uh, from the top of the evaporator here so liquid uh, that is the water is coming like this it is sprayed from the top of the evaporator uh, here uh, we have a bundle of tubes like this 
when this water is sprayed it expands so what happens is um, a part of this water vapor water is vaporizing so that heat of vaporization is taken from the secondary refrigerant which is flowing to the flowing to the bundle of tubes so what happens is this water which is sprayed from the top of the evaporator vaporizes whereas the um, refrigerant which is flowing through the uh, bundle of tubes is cooled so that water vapor enters into the absorber for next cycle we will see what happens uh, once more first um, water vapor from the evaporator enters into the absorber and this buffel will prevent the entry of the uh, lithium bromide into the evaporator side so water vapor will enter into the absorber where uh, the um, cooling water circulation will take the heat of uh, heat from the water vapor and it, that will be cooled so that cooled water vapor enters into the absorber where uh, this cooled water is uh, water vapor is absorbed by the absorbent and a, a weak solution is formed here weak solution is pumped by using this pump uh, so that pressure is increased so that uh, after uh, pumping uh, it is flowing through a heat exchanger like this where it is preheated the preheated uh, weak solution enters into the generator from where um, by using some external source of steam uh, heating or water or hot water or uh, solar heating etc this uh, weak solution is heated so from that weak solution water vapor is separated water vapor will move upwards and enters into the condenser and the, uh, from since it's a weak solution and from weak solution water vapor is separated a uh, strong solution is formed here this strong solution uh, enters into the heat exchanger where that is used for preheating the uh, weak solution and strong solution uh, after uh, cooling uh, that is after rejecting its sensible heat enters into the absorber so from where the top of the absorber this uh, strong solution is sprayed so this strong solution uh, rejects its sensible heat to the cooling water and um, from here this uh, from the here this wa water uh, vapor is coming so that water vapor also rejects its latent uh, sensible heat to the cooling water and what happens is this um, uh, water vapor is absorbed by the st strong solution so a weak solution is formed yeah, so same cycle is uh, uh, repeating here whereas in the case of refrigerant the refrigerant which is driven out from the generator enters into the condenser okay so that refrigerant which is in the vapor form is condensed by this cooling water and is collected here so this water uh, is uh, uh, is expanded by using an expansion device and enters into the evaporator side so that wa water liquid water is sprayed from the top of the uh, bundle of tubes and this due to this lower pressure in the evaporator side water vaporizes a part of the water vaporizes so a part of the water vaporizes and a part of the water will be in the liquid form now this uh, vaporized water takes its uh, heat for uh, vaporization that is latent heat from the um, secondary refrigerant which is flowing through the bund uh, bundle of tubes so that secondary refrigerant gets cooled now this water which is present here uh, which is uh, which is not vaporized is by using this refrigerant pump is again sprayed from the top so that is how the system is working so here as this weak solution is circulated then strong solution is returning back and the refrigerant is sprayed from the top here you have a cooling effect that is this second refrigerant uh, takes the heat from the space to be cooled and enters into the bundle of tubes where it is cooled and goes back again it takes the heat from there and reject that heat to this evaporator this is how system is working there are mainly two types of uh, lithium bromide water absorption system that is a single shell type and a double shell type in a single shell type in a in a single shell like this two compartments will be there in one generator and condenser will be placed whereas in another compartment Expand, uh, the evaporator and absorber will be placed that is in single shell combination whereas in double shell combination you have a separate shells for absorber and evaporator and generator and condenser 
Now, if you see the concentration diagram, here you have pressure versus percentage of lithium bromide by mass. So, a strong solution enters into the absorber where it uh, strong solution absorbs the, uh, the uh, water vapor from the evaporator and a weak solution is formed. So, a strong solution you can see one is the point before absorption of the refrigerant and one two is the absorption process. You can see at one the concentration is around around 64 percentage whereas at two it is around 59 percentage. So, a, a strong solution absorbs the refrigerant uh, that is water water vapor and a weak solution is formed here. So, that is one two is the absorption process. Then two three four is the uh, you, you can see this pump by using the solution pump preheating and heating in the generator the um, pressure is increasing you have a pump here that pump is increasing the pressure temperature temperature is increased by the preheating and the generator so you can see 2 3 4 is that process then 4 5 is the process which is occurring in, inside the generator that is by using some external source of heating water vapor is driven out so that means a weak strong solution uh, from weak solution when wa when water vapor is separated a strong solution is formed so 4 5 is that uh, formation of strong solution then 5 6 is the you can see 5 6 is the expansion in the expansion valve and then 6 7 1 is the absorption process that is which is happening inside the absorber now the system uh, vapor absorption system has got several advantages and disadvantages you will see them one by one it can be used in any in any place any in a remote place also we can use because here the source of energy is heat so no need of electrical energy we can use steam or you know solar heat or uh, fossil fuel etc so that is one advantage another thing is that and another advantage is that there is no wear and tear because there is no moving part like compressor so no less wear and tear and there is no chance of refrigerant leakage also uh, since there is no compressor the uh, the part load performance of the absorption system is relatively good while comparing with a vapor compression system because here source of energy is heat not compressor that is not work then we have uh, main, less maintenance is required because there is no compressor and but um, comparatively and also it is comparatively less bulky for large capacity systems it has got some disadvantages also like uh, since um, if you uh, if coefficient of performance is very less uh, we need more um, you know energy is required while comparing with the uh, uh, same capacity vapor compression system vapor compression system may be having a coefficient of performance of around 3.5 to 5 whereas in uh, vapor absorption system coefficient of performance is less than 0.6 so that means uh, more energy is required per refrigeration and for another disadvantage is that for bulky systems uh, for small capacity systems uh, system is very bulky and uh, also charging of refrigerant is very difficult it takes long time to produce cooling effect so these are some advantages and disadvantages of vapor absorption system hope you got some idea about working of uh, lithium bromide water absorption system uh, and its uh, enthalpy concentration diagram thank you very much uh, for listening to this lecture thank you very much